Hello and welcome to Trigo Coding Classes. This is Amber Roy. And as you can see on the screen that my NRS Studio is getting updated. So I'm updating it from 3.2.1 to 3.3. .3. And let's hope this is much more better than 3.2. I've seen the documentation changes that they have made. It looks quite good. The build time must have decreased. So we'll see when we build our project. Well, apart from that, in this video, we will set up our main program activity and in the next video we will code that and we will make what we were intending to make so let's get started so for those of you who will be downloading and installing android studio 3.3 the installation has been finished and i am now updating my gradle now you can see here the dependency has changed from 3.2.1 to 3.3.0 and now it is automatically updating my gradle and if you want to see what what's new in this android studio you can just click assistant and there it is what's new you can just browse through and see what are the new stuff that android studio has added in its software so there are a lot of stuff now i have actually added an extra line in my gradle properties here that is this android debug dot obsolete api equal to true as you can see here better debug info for obsolete api because if i use if i accidentally use an obsolete api it shows me what i need to do against that obsolete api what i need to use how do I need to use it shows our documentation against that so let it finish then we can continue our video so gradle sync has finally been completed and I have opened up my main program layout so as you can see here there is a navigation menu now we're gonna change this menu to what we want now click on menu then the drawer as you can see here there is everything written now we need to change the text of everything so first what we need is file is pending informations third would be subscription cause as i said this is going to be a paid app people can subscribe to your application now the next would be okay let's delete this item we don't need the tools let's keep it three items only and then underneath share and send let it be we're not changing it now we need vector assets to change the icons that are provided here so let's import vector assets first then we can delete the camera and everything so drawable right click new vector asset in here just click now from here select this one when it is done black is fine now the name would be file next finish Okay, we have done the profile now we need a vector asset for information so click this one okay let's write information there is nothing so let's write uh, this is fine 
or what is in the alerts there is nothing alert okay, nothing to do something else rather pending informations okay we will use this one the new vector asset so this is fine okay i forgot to change the name Pending. So, hit finish. Now for subscription. Subscription. Hit OK. This. when these are done we're going to change the pictures so i see menu camera changes to profile now the trending changes to trending info then the subscription changes to subscription okay when that is done we can delete the camera we can delete the gallery now Okay, let it be as it is. So now we have the menu ready. There is profile, trending information, and subscription. Now we need to change the other menu. So we'll go to menu and main program. Now the only menu we have is settings. That is here. So we'll write here. log out user needs to log out from your app also let's change the id we'll copy this and need to show a help sign so that the user can refer to an activity to get help on how to use your application and all or frequently asked questions now the next one would be the user an option to contact me so contact this is fine now my application is or rather my software is lagging a bit so let me just restart my computer and come back because it has just updated so I need a good restart then we'll start again so we have restarted our computer and it is working quite fine now so let's open up navigation header main program which is this one and in here we are going to change the color of the navigation header menu so let's hit text and let's get the preview out so image view is fine we we'll just change the id to profile change the id to profile pick and the scale type is center crop 
is a state center inside center inside is fine everything else is good now i need this on family Debuche and the email id is font family to the same Debuche that's it now these are just examples we need to change this also because we are getting the first name and the second name of the user and also we have the email id too okay so that's it now let's change the background of the header so background let's give it white first then we'll change the color this color looks good in my header so let it be and that's it what we configure in the main program dot java well uh, i need to change the ids also so i'll do it in the next uh, video because this video is getting too long so that's it if you have learned something from this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification icon Thank you. That's it. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.